Now the new tube, I'm the Tough Man, and welcome back to Thorncraft and Britannia Unite Episode 9. Today, guys, uh, we're going to go ahead and do some more stuff with Thorncraft today. We did, uh, predominantly in the last episode, we did Britannia, and there's a lot of stuff going on over there now for Britannia. We've got a few different types of plant that are all generating mana, that are all converging in that mana pool down there. Uh, in between episodes, I went out and I filled up my Greatwood Wand, as you can see. Uh, not totally filled it up, because there's no, there's not enough order around the place. Um, but there is fire and there is Predito if I really wanted to go out there and see some more. But I don't see the point in filling it up too much, um, because I, I want to upgrade this at some stage, and I'm hoping that I've got enough in there to actually upgrade it uh, sooner rather than later. So, in the Thorminomicon today, we are going to make our first alchemical furnace. It's about time, guys, uh, and it's an arcane workbench recipe. Uh, we need, however, a cauldron, and that is a Thorncraft item. Seven of them makes a cauldron. Um, it's not a Thorncraft item, sorry, it's a, it's a vanilla Minecraft item. If we put the cauldron down and then smack it with the wand, we can see it turns into a crucible. That's the Thorncraft item which we're going to need in this recipe. Um, which we're actually going to need to put into here. Crucible, along with arcane stone blocks. And I think the crucible actually belongs on the top. And have I got enough? I do. We need our own furnace. And that should be enough to go ahead and craft ours. Where's it gone? There. There it is. And we've actually still got enough left in this iron capped wooden one to make this uh, this particular thing, the alchemical furnace. That is a brilliant, brilliant start, guys. But it's only a start. We can't really do anything with that other than shove stuff in it. Um, but we need to get stuff out of it. And as you can see, as you can remember from a previous episode, we do need a couple of things to help us do that. Arcane Alembics are one of them. Now, if you remember, uh, I think it's five that you can put up. Yeah, you can stack up to five different Alembics on top of a single furnace. And it'd be very nice to have five of those uh, because some things have a huge amount of aspects in them when you try to break those down. So to have five aspects... Uh, to, to have five Alembics, it just makes it easier in the long run to be able to go ahead and do this. So we need five Vs filters, however, um, which is one Silverwood log and two Gold Ingots, along with five Ardor and five Aqua. So in total, we're going to need 25 of each of that uh, to make the Vs filters. So, yeah, probably not enough then. Oh, well, we do. No, hang on a minute. Ardor. Is Ardor one of them? I think it was, wasn't it? Ardor. Uh, looks like I might have to take a walk. Whoop. There it is again, guys. Always seems to be at night as well. I have noticed. I have noticed it does seem to be at night, or at dusk. Either which, or dawn. Depends if I've slept through the night or not. Um, Alright, so, it doesn't look like we've got enough order to be able to do this. Unless... Let's have a look at this. 95% Vs cost. So anything that we do has immediately a 95% cost on it, rather than a 100% cost. Ooh, let's have a look. Let's work this out. Let's work this out. So, basically, 95% of 5, which would be, what, 4.75? 4.8? Something like that. Could be totally wrong there. My math isn't brilliant, I've got to say. Uh, I might be able to still use some that's in here, so I think we've got enough. I think we've got enough. So let's go ahead and make some. I think we're going to head... Oh, I don't think we've got enough gold. Now that is a shame. That is a real, real shame. Well, we can make some for the start anyway. We could just go ahead and make a couple for the start, so I can show you guys exactly what it, uh, what to do. Um, we are going to need to find these as well, definitely. We can click to purchase this research, so that's great. I've now found Essentia tubes, which allow us uh, to basically pipe Essentia around into void jars and stuff like that. You have discovered several ways to transport Essentia, but none of them has proven, mo uh, proven useful for large-scale alchemical operations until now. You have unlocked the key to creating stable and re uh, to, cr to creating stable and relatively leak-free tubing. While mundane chemicals can be transported in glass, certain types of Essentia either dissolves or simply passes right through it. By wrapping the glass in iron and treating it with quicksilver, you have managed to protect it from even the most volatile types of Essentia. Gold fittings finish off the piping system and make it visually appealing. 
So we've got the gold there. I, mean, I don't think we've got enough uh, gold to make some Essentia tubes this time around, but uh, I'm going to have to go mining at some stage anyway. The tubes can be connected to all manner of alchemical devices, through uh, the wadded jars and alembics are their primary targets, which is exactly what we need. Essentia flows through tubes whenever something is connected uh, uh, to them that can accept it like wadded jars. Jars containing different kinds of essentia will only draw their kind of essentia towards them. Tubes, however, can only draw and transport one kind of essentia at a time. The highest drawing strength will take priority. Without the proper use of valves, it is quite easy for a, networks, uh, for a network of gums, a uh, network of gums, <laughs> a network of tubes to get gummed up, that's the one. Uh, the use of valves is essential. When you see gases being vented from a tube, it means different kinds of suction are interfering with each other. The colour gives a clue as to the types of suction. The essential valves act much like normal length of tubing, except it can be turn turned off by hand or a redstone signal. When this is done, the flow of essentia will flow through it. Uh, hang on a minute. When this is done, the flow of essentia through it will be cut off. The essential resonator is handy for troubleshooting your network. You can use it on a tube or other essentia using device to see what essentia is currently con uh, co what is what essentia it currently contains and the suction it is applying. Tubes can be disconnected and uh, connected and disconnected from their neighbors by clicking on a section of tubing with a wand. The wand can also be used to click on a central section to rotate certain tubes like the valve. All right, so that's that one. Uh, we've got already got wadded jars and labels found, which is just glass panes and a birch wood, or, or wait, well, whatever, whatever kind of slab there, and you can get a wadded jar with that. It's one aqua to be able to craft that. Labels are very nice things to have, and um, I might actually make some of them if I've got any slime balls. I don't think I've got slime balls though, have I? I can't remember picking any up. It doesn't seem so. Oh well, never mind. Right, let's go ahead and make ourselves then some of these feast filters. I think two might be a good start for the moment. Leaves us some in the uh, you know going forwards. So silverwood log, let's put that into here. Okay, we can just ah, we can't just do that at all. Let's put that into there then and grab another one out using this wand. So I'll put that one back in, and as much as we can use this as possible, then that's great. Um, arcane Alembics then. We need one gold for this. We need a bucket and some more iron. Uh, so we need ten iron, two buckets, and two gold. Well, luckily, I've got two gold, and I've got enough to make Essentia Tubes, or at least one set, which is great. Um, iron then. Mm, 16. I'll just do two stacks. Uh, two, two rounds of coal. Once that's uh, done and uh, smelted up, I'll be back. All right. So while we're waiting for all that, we might as well go ahead and make the essentia tubes, which are crafted uh, as follows: one gold down the bottom there with a piece of glass, two iron on either side, and you're going to need your shimmer leaf that I got earlier from un uh, from underneath the tree, and put that into a crafting station or crafting area, and it'll get a piece of quicksilver. So let's pop that up there. And we don't have enough Vs, apparently, in our one to be able to do this. So let's grab our other one, pop that into there, and get ourselves our Essentia Tubes. Um, so let me put the other one back in, make sure I can squeeze as much out of that as possible. There's eight, which is a start. You know, it's not, it's not fantastic, it's not great, but it's a start. Six of them, and I'm going to need a couple of... Where did I put them? I had loads of them. There they are. Slabs. We'll make some jars as well. Why not? 16. Let's do that. And then that. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I forget, guys. I forget. Goldfish. That there. Along with one of them. So we can get another one out of there. Let's pop this around here and see if we can get another one. We can indeed. Two wadded jars, I think, is a start for you guys to actually see how this works. Um, have we got enough now? 16 iron? I think so. Oops. Two buckets. Great stuff. Let's take it over to here then. Um, that wasn't it, was it? Wait, hold up. What was the recipe again? What was your recipe again? Oh, I like that. Okay. 
Fair enough. We get the two over there. We get the two buckets in the middle there. And then, then, there, then, them there. <laughs> and uh, we don't have enough aqua in this, apparently. So let's go ahead and swap, switch this, swap this out. 4.75, so it's nearly there. One arcane alembic, two arcane alembics. And this is what is going to be the start now. We've got enough to actually start, which is great. Let's go over to our Thorncraft area. Which is my thing with the big wand on it, even though it's really not like a wand at all. <laughs> Vasky says, it looks like a weight. Which, yeah, it actually does. It actually does. Alright, so let's put this down right here. This, uh, all of these jars that are going to have the Essentia in it need to be in range of the Infusion Altar, which is here. Or which is going to be here, actually. Um, and then they can get sucked out of the jars and into the Infusion. Uh, infusion, not Infusion. That doesn't exist. So, one Arcane Alembic on the top. Yep. And two. Brilliant. You'll see the spouts out of... I oh, would... You would, if I possibly put that there, no? Maybe? Thinking about it? No? Apparently not. Uh, so, what I'm going to go ahead and do is start putting them down there. I'm going to use my Essentia Tubes. Like this. And, what we can do, guys, you can see this has got two pieces of Terra inside there. I'm going to need some coal, actually, for this. I didn't have everything. I lied to you guys. We can use Alumentum and it's much, much better. Uh, but we haven't got the ability to craft Alimentum just yet. I've got the uh, research, I just haven't got the cauldron set up and all that kind of bits and bobs set up. I'm, I need to get it set up over there as part of, you know, like an extra room on the side. So, let me go ahead and grab some coal. That should be okay. What about fence? That's arbor. I don't really want to put arbor into all of this at the moment. I want to have stuff that I know that I'm going to use later on down the line. What is, what was that, um, what did it, what did it want? Bit of everything. All primal aspects apart from the Precantatio. So, uh, we need something that's going to give us magic um, and all of these. So, we're going to need Terra anyway. Whoops. Alright, let's go sleep. It's dark. Strange whispers reveal secrets to you. Says a very spooky voice in the middle of the night. And every time they say that, it's like I keep getting aspects. So it's like, yeah, keep keep on doing it. Keep on doing it. I don't mind at all. Right, let's put the coal in there. And basically what this is going to do is burn it up into its compound aspects. Into its aspects. So you can see there, and eventually, whoa, you can see. Why are you actually venting? You shouldn't be venting right now. Seriously? I only put something in there that was had two terror in it. Nah. They lie. I swear they lie. Oh. Strange secrets to you. So why are you doing this? Hmm. One second, guys. Alright, guys. I've found the reason why it's, uh, it's venting as it is. Things have changed since 4.0, um, of course. It, it, I think this actually changed in 4.1. And the last time I actually fully played with the system was 4.0, so that's why I'm not familiar with uh, with how things are actually working here. I do need to change these Essentia tubes into uh, valve tubes. I need more of them. And basically what I'm going to go ahead and do is, I don't know if this, is, if this is the best way of doing it. I think I can do this with golems rather than anything else. I think that's the best way of doing it. However... Um, I've got some Cognito in here because I tested it with uh, with the paper here. And that, that's got some Cognito in there. Um... So I'm going to have one more tube there, and then I'm going to have it down here, I'm going to have another valve. And of course these won't be connected then. And then what I can do is I'm going to have a valve on each of these Alembics, and then what will happen is, um, I can manually do it. Now this is a long, long way around it. This is a long way around it, guys. I can just go to the, uh, the particular thing that I want, open it up. I mean, it's not a good idea to do it because it's just going to vent everywhere now. Open that up, and then go over towards the uh, the Alembic that has it in. Open that up, and then it'll go ahead, transport itself into there. Let me close that off again. Close that off again, so I can show you. I'm just going to pop that into there. I'm just going to look at this, and as you can see, because I'm wearing these, uh, I can see what's inside there. You can see there's two inside there now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab that. That's going to let it 
out and it's going to find its way into there. Is that actually open then? Let me try that one again then. Close that anyway. Oops. Put you into there. Trials and tribulations of these pipes. Is it actually going anywhere? Regardless of what that's actually switched to, it's not doing anything. Okay, let me try something else. Does it only work by this? Because if that is actually so... Where's my wand? Stop that connecting to each other. Stop it! Stop! Stop! <laughs> stop being a pain! <laughs> Why? Right, is that gonna vent? Why are you venting? You shouldn't vent. I think, I don't know which way is open though, this is the problem. And it looks as if I've closed it there. Oh no, hang on a minute. Right, now that is very strange indeed. Um, I don't know which way is actually closed. I honestly don't know which way is closed and which way is bloody open. Because I'm sure... That has opened it, maybe? Is that No, it's just gone... Psh, for no reason whatsoever. Alright, let me go ahead and shove another one of them in and see what happens. Alright, so this is what I wanted to see. This is what I wanted to see. I'm going to have to have valves on each on the top of each of these. Otherwise, it's just going to vent everywhere. Now, because there's terror in there, I'm just going to have to... What is going to have to happen is I'm going to have to come along the line of these valves, find where I want it to go, and just open it. Let it in. Close it. Sorted. That's just go That's what's going to have to happen. Which is a damn shame, in all honesty. It's a damn shame. But still... I can do this with golems further on down the line, so it's not really that that much of a bad thing. I'm going to go ahead and find the advanced essentia tubes as well. Might as well buy them. Um, I've got the filtered essentia tube. Uh, works like normal tubes, except it is possible to mark them with labels. When marked, they will restrict essentia flow through them to what they have been marked with. Shift clicking on them with an empty hand will remove the label. So basically, put a V's filter on the essentia tube. And you'll have something that looks and works something like this. However, it will only let one particular thing go through it. Which uh, I think is it's pretty neat. I think it's pretty neat, guys. So that's that. Um, yeah. Not much more to show you on that front. <laughs> Not for the moment, anyway. I still need to get my head around all of this, you know, because I've never really used it. And... Uh, I really need to get into doing that sort of stuff. So this is what I've got so far. Um, I could possibly take that out and maybe put that filter there and 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 have it going out there rather than here. That could be a that could be a thing. Could we do that? Let's go and let's go. Oops. Let's go and have a look. I can take these up. Don't worry. The thing will still remain inside them. It's night time. Good job I've got that stuff over there. Uh, there. Where's my other one? There. Brilliant. Let's put them on there. That on there. I need my wand so I can smack it and tell it to stop being stupid. Is that going to disappear? I think that's closed. Or is that closed? Okay. I think they're now closed. Let me just test this one more time, and then take a note. So the grey on the right hand side is closed, I presume. So I can come along here, open that one, that'll end up as 22, close it again, sorted. Alright, so, I think that I've got the hang of this, at least for the moment, manually. Uh, so, what are we going to do next? Alright, so now we've faffed around with that for way too long in this episode, we need to start getting some stuff together towards next episode and towards what I really want to work towards. Does that make any sense? I want the Infernal Furnace. Now this not only will it, um, it, it will make, basically it will smelt my ores and it will give me back some nuggets as we're going along. It basically allows me to get more than one 
ingot from it. However, there's something else a little bit later on down the line that I haven't unlocked yet that I will need, uh, um, that I will also use this in conjunction with. As you can see by the cloud around it, it is a forbidden knowledge. So I've gone ahead and I've got the research note. I'm also going to go ahead, guys, and grab myself this, the Void Jar. Uh, six Vacuous, three Water, and uh, three Peditio as well, and that will get me that. So the Void Jar, basically an Obsidian, Warded Jar, and a Blaze Powder, along with 15 Peditio and five Aqua. It will allow everything in, you know, up to when the Jar is full, but when the Jar gets full, it actually, it still accepts it in, but then it voids the rest of it, basically. As you can see, ex even when full, they are still able to accept Essentia, but the excess Essentia is simply lost. This allows you to always have some Essentia of that type available, but get rid of any excess that may build up. And using the system that we've put currently got, it's possibly a good idea to do that kind of stuff. But anyway, research notes of the Infernal Furnace. Let's go ahead and start this one out. Well, let's get ready for some more of this warp system, guys, because we are almost, almost there. Uh, let me just double check what that actually was. I found a little web website, actually, guys, this research helper, uh, apparently. Just type it in in Google and you'll find it. It's actually really, really useful. And it's, it's certainly helped me out with this particular one because I was at it for ages. And then I was looking around to see what the best thing was to get it. And then I found this little website. It's fantastic. Um, so, Instrumentum Auto. Look at that. Brilliant. And I didn't have to, like, connect each one to each one. I just met, met them in the middle. And, uh, yeah. So, the Infernal Furnace. Are you ready? We've gained warp, guys. But we've also gained the brilliance that is the Infernal Furnace. And we will need the Arcane Bellows as well. That means we're going to need three motors. So, whoops. Let's go into there. And make a couple more points of motors so that we can just go ahead and buy the arcane bellows. Wood planks, shard, leather, and ingot. I'm going to need to create a farm at some stage. Basically, this will speed up the process of the infernal furnace. This is a mystical construct. Uh, construct. It's a multi block, basically, from uh, Thorncraft. I'll just get rid of that for a second. There we are, we're back. By harnessing raw ignis within a furnace crafted from obsidian and nether brick, you've created a highly efficient and fuel free furnace. So efficient, in fact, that occasionally it will produce bonus materials in the form of nuggets or other items. While this is essentially free, it is also very slow, unless the furnace gets a supply of ignis essentia or vis every now and again. This can be done by any methods you have discovered so far. Or still will discover. So, 50 Ignis, 50 Terror to be able to craft this mystical construct that is the Infernal Furnace. I'm going to have to totally max up my wand with both Ignis and Terror if I want to be able to do this. It should be noted that the occasional bit of flux escapes into the environment. Items you wish to smelt needs to be dropped into the top of the furnace and it will spit out of the front. There is something else I'm going to need... And that is the Hungry Chest. We're going to need three Vacuous for this. Where are you, Vacuous? There you are. One, two, three. Good stuff. And let's buy you. The Hungry Chest will go in conjunction with the Infernal Furnace. The Hungry Chest is able to pick up items by itself if they are dropped close enough to touch it. And it's a really easy to make, guys. Trapdoor and wood planks with uh, a little bit of ease uh, kicked in there as well. And that will get you the hungry chest. And we can now start on straw golems, which is uh, some of the, something that I will definitely want to do later on down the line when it comes to uh, my system over there. So guys, I think that with with that, it pretty much comes towards the end of this episode. If you've enjoyed this episode, please go ahead and leave a like. Again, if you've got any suggestions as well, please also put them in the comments section. Um, what the hell was that? Is that a pig in a tree? It is, isn't it? I wondered what that was for a second there. Uh, so yeah, we, we took a little while to get our heads around this. Um, but what I'm going to do is one of the rooms that I've got going off here um, will be where my... Infernal Furnace is going to go. And what I'm going to do is have this connected with uh, with these pipes towards a jar of Essentia that will let only Ignis in there. I think that's, 
I think that's the way to do it, guys. I think that's a good way to do it. So, yeah, definitely, definitely the way to do it. All right, guys. Well, I think that's what I say. It's come to the end of the episode. Now, again, if you've liked this episode, please go ahead and leave a like, guys. It really does help the series. And I hope you are enjoying it as much as what I am at the moment, guys. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. And as always, stay safe.